What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Junior. We did a how to complete on the, the channel. I think it was not last video, the video before. So go check that out. Obviously it will be somewhere in the analytics, uh, in the analytics, somewhere in the uh, info above and also be an end screen if you want to watch this first. You also get a cheeky token with it. I actually didn't even know that you got the token with it. So that is an absolute surprise. But we happily get, we happily get Junior out of this. A little bit disappointed that the swaps comes out before Junior. Obviously, we did have a look at his stats briefly. A five-star, three-star. Somebody who has come from a 74 silver. And it's got a nice, well-rounded card, to be honest. Didn't take too long to grind, but we did come into some real hardship with, obviously, some players not leaving. So let's jump into the screen, get him into the Serie A squad, and see what Junior can do. We have put a Hunter on, as you can see. Got a decent amount of stats from him. Obviously, you get the plus 10 on the pace, which gives him a 98 pace, which is 96 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. We also get 88 shooting, which is a plus 7. Takes his finishing up to 92, his positioning up to 88, and his shot power up to 86. We already, like we said, had some decent dribbling, bar from the composure, which is the only thing that I think really lets this card down. I think there's two flaws in him, and that is his freestyle weak foot, and that is his composure. Everything else without kind of going into it and seeing how his animations are, looks pretty solid. You've got good passing, you've got decent dribbling, bar from that one stat. Physicality, he's got stamina, he's got a bit of strength, nothing too tasty there. And then obviously in terms of his attacking, you've got the Hunter on him, which pretty much makes him pretty decent there. And he makes him an 88 cam. So let's have a look at what Junior can do and see if we can get anything from him. Junior winning the ball back nice and cleanly. Love to see it from him. Really got that good dribbling on him. Obviously, that, what, five-star skill moves is doing absolute wonders for him. Really feels nice on that skill move on the turns. Nice acceleration away from the ball, which is nice. Obviously, being 5'10", that's what I'm kind of expecting. It's a little pass off to Locatelli. Doesn't manage to reciprocate the pass, though. Again, like I said, in terms of dribbling, actually a solid card. And again, with, with cards like this, they're free, so it's very hard to, to really kind of be very critical with them because obviously they don't actually cost anything. They cost a bit of time, which obviously is, again, quite valuable to some people. You don't necessarily get all the time in the world to play this game, and not, not everybody does, but ooh, nearly could have gone for something there. But in terms of what you want to be doing with a lot of these um, objective cards, because I think personally a lot of them are worth it. They've really kind of stepped up. A lot of them, and, and I'm not saying every single one is worth your time, but when it's like an 86, 87 rated S, uh, objective, you've kind of got to do it. It's just, it's a free card waiting for you to pick him up. Lovely back heel from Insigne, looking for that 1-2. He's going to try and find him through. He's got him. One touch. Pings it across, and that's a solid assist. Beautiful from him. Really, really plays down that wing and then kind of pushing forward from the center mid roll very nicely. Like I say, I think the, the two things that I'm now really seeing is just that composure. I feel like that will take its time to have problems. You, you'll kind of see it in a little bit of doses, really. You probably won't see it straight away or instantly, but you will notice it as games go on. But then the only other thing I'd say, strength was okay, but the big thing is obviously that weak foot. Just having that little extra plus one would have been absolutely spot on for him. Again, he's got, like I say, some, the skill moves are very, very clean. They're very quick to, to kind of get into it. Turning's nice. Just kind of got to get him really pushing forward into that attacking role. And you can see the difference in terms of, of kind of what his 74 could be like. Animation-wise, seems absolutely solid. Um, like I say, the turning's the, the biggest point that I'm thinking would have been the issue. Going from kind of like a 74, slower sort of stance, really slow turning, to what this 86 could potentially produce was the only thing that I was thinking maybe it could be the issue. But to be honest, I think he's come up quite well. I think the the grade has done him absolute wonders like i say in terms of the skill moves as well even though uh sometimes you can't get it right all the time you can definitely get a lot of the time right with him finds the ball over the top to mertens he's going to take the touch chip the keeper and it's a big old chip good interception still driving forward having an absolute banger in this match finds Pereira who's gonna go for that shot and Chesney slips through his hands a good thing as well with him is I feel like in terms of Brazil you've not really got too many midfielders or at least none that I personally 
know of in my team or, or kind of wanted in my team. So it'll be interesting to see who we actually have. I know cam-wise we have got Lincoln just because we uh, have seen him obviously in the level 30 rewards. And then other than that, the only other Brazilian I know at the moment in terms of that position would actually be himself. So it'd be quite interesting. And he's just absolutely sold two defenders there. Not just getting assists, he's even getting goals himself. Oh, he even intercepts <laughs> half time. Love the quick turning from him. Like they're just even the little spin there is doing absolute wonders for me. So you can really see that he just doesn't know how to tackle him. <laughs> and he's just running into him, and that's the only thing that you can do. Big ball over the top from Junior. Finds a bit of Insigne who's looking for him back if we can. There he is. Can we get that stand in finesse? Is not gonna happen. Oh, Kula Bali sent to the absolute shops. Just looking to see if we can go for the rainbow flick, and Kula Bali is not going to let him pass this easily. Little one, and he rolls it again. He even gets his left foot in on it. Lovely second goal. <laughs> and he even, honestly, there is is solid, absolutely solid. He's had an absolute blinder. You know what? He's even not got some terrible free kicks on him. Let's give him a go. Let's have a look, go up here, find a flick in, green tie, mm, questionable. So going into the overall for Junior then, so in terms of objectives of what you've got to do, like I said, the link will be on the sidebar and it'll be at the end of the game or the end of the review once you are finished. We've just got a very, very wide screen. What's going on here? I cannot get out of this. Let's get refresh this. What on earth is going on? So it looks like we can't look at the objectives. Is, is it broken? Yeah, it's broken. So we can't look at the objectives, but obviously we can still look at the card. So I believe it is score 15 goals with a Brazilian player, assist three uh, goals with obviously a cam, and then you've got score in 10 separate matches with a Serie A player and win five matches. Pretty standard, 10, man, 10 matches max. And then I think 15 of you got a rage quit every single time. Not everybody's rage quit. So we managed to get about six or seven past one person before he decided to go. And obviously in terms of chemistry style, we looked at the hunter for him. So it turns him into a 98 pace and 88 rated striker. Um, it's not bad at all. I think dribbling wise was exquisite. I think personally that is a big, big bonus for him. In terms of kind of his um, passing, his just overall Almost animations to some extent are actually really, really good. The skill moves are absolutely on point. And I think most definitely for a free card from a 74 silver rare to an 86 uh, winter re winter wild card, I really can't complain about this card. I think he's worth the objective. I think he's worth the, SP, uh, worth the uh, grind. And in terms of Brazilian cams, I wanted to see who have, who else we've got. I know we've got Lincoln. He pretty much is the best cam, other than obviously icons. I feel like you've got him and Lincoln together kind of going at it. Lincoln is a four-star, three-star. So at least he has the five-star over him, which is just absolutely mad. So I think for me, it is just a no-brainer to get this guy done 100% because Casemiro is not getting into anybody's team. I'd say it would be the likes if you taken out icons obviously fred lincoln um, and junior or at least if you're going for somebody like maybe alan fred and junior or lincoln whoever's going in that sort of cam role because you want the defensive players as well um i feel like that is where you'll lack in terms of these two but i think for me 100 percent worth the grind I really think that five star weak foot is uh, five star skill moves is an absolute masterpiece, seen as though he was a three star free star, which is a huge jump up. Left footed as well. Honestly, I would get this guy done. Make sure you do and let me know down below how you're finding him and see what we can do. And also we have got a Vinny SBC as well, so it's a perfect little little link there as well. But other than that, make sure you like and subscribe. Peace. I'm gonna give him a nine out of ten.